Today in this video we are going to talk about the African rock ring and the African rock ring it's nothing more than me trying to do a DIY natural rocker that comes on the wizard frame so enjoy this one <laughs> Hello YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm over addict. It's Monday, you're gonna be watching these on a Tuesday and I got to the shop and I didn't really sleep that good from Sunday to Monday because I was trying my my hardcore evos with my 4x 110 frame and I love them, I mean like they're amazing for downhill and I really like how stable they are for slides and since I've tried the wizard frames when I was in Holland, the ones from my friend Basti, I felt that I was almost falling backwards. When I made the review, I even said it. And I said I would like to try it with different boots. Then, because I have this 4 100 frame, and, and I don't really know what's the geometry that really goes with the wizard frame but I do know that the heel is a little bit higher than the front which means that you skate a little bit more like leaning forwards and everyone always says that the wheel that does the most pressure is the third wheel and then when I skate them I felt that the last wheel wasn't always touching and that's why I felt sometimes I was falling backwards so Today, when I got to the shop, I tried to make my DIY wizards with a 110. Power slide has a lot of three wheel options. They don't have a four wheel options for big wheels that allows you to play with the wheels, like to, with rockering, you know, with the, with the axle. So I just did this. So, front one is 100. The second one is 105, the third one is a 110, and the fourth one is a 110. Basically, I usually roll on the first three, and this one goes in here. But if I lean backwards, it goes more on these two, and this one kind of touches a little bit. So, I'm obviously not trying to tell you not to buy the Wizards, because that's an amazing piece of skate technology, and I love what Leon is doing, and I think more and more people should support what Leon is doing because it's amazing. But if you want to try <laughs> something like this, I'm not going to say it's the exact same feel. I didn't really skate the Wizards for that long. But you know what? This actually works. I could actually play around with it. I'm just trying to have a little bit of fun and it seems like it works. Check this out. Basically, I could always do those turns for forward to backwards. I was never that good on doing them in one foot. And with this setup, it's super, super easy. Well, I kind of feel like I can do it with the in foot or with the out foot. All I need to do is learn how to go from the, the front to the back. There's like when you turn, there's a certain point that you really feel while you're skating this, that it, all you need to do is just to, to go from the front of your skate to the back of your skate, kind of like pressuring your heels and you're out of it. It's actually super easy to turn from forwards to backwards on one foot only. And those gazelles, I was never good at them. Like, I could do them with the Trimax frames and it was never a thing that I could do consistently. And with these things, they're just easy. Like, if I do it both feet, the gazelle like backwards to forward, it's just smooth, it's easy. I didn't do them with the wizards, but also I was not used to those. And now doing the the 
the gazelle one foot, like one foot backwards to forward. It's not that hard. It took me a little bit longer, but it's not that hard. And I kind of feel like I, I still go, I kind of still feel like I'm losing a little bit of speed, but that's obviously because I'm not used to it. But you know what? If you want to try, if you have different wheel sizes that you can play with, it doesn't need to be exactly like this. What I did was I put the two back wheels the same size and then I tried to find a, a smaller wheel for the front and then I tried to find a wheel for second that would be in between but obviously it doesn't really need to be like that. I guess you can just play around with wheels. With this video I just want you guys to try the wheels in different ways so that you can actually try different rockers. It doesn't always need to be the banana or if you don't have a wizard you don't you can still play with different rock rings by just using different wheel sizes and don't limit yourself to the banana rocker or to just the, the front wheel up or just the back wheel up you can play with those if you if you have different wheels that you can play with try it and that's what I did and I'm enjoying it actually so that was it I hope you guys enjoyed this one it was just a little idea something so if you did enjoy this one do not forget to give me some thumbs up if you didn't like it well you can give me thumbs down but let me know what you didn't like about this video other than that well other than that you can just maybe subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribing yet <laughs> and if you're subscribing also click on that bell so you'll get notifications every time I upload one of these and more important than anything else just don't forget why we all started skating and that is because it's fun Cheers guys and see you soon.